Introducing Modern Botanicals by Ray Missigman, exclusively for Stencil Girl Stencil Club members. Here's Ray to tell you all about her stencil set. Hi, welcome to the September Stencil Club Reveal. I'm Ray Missigman, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on the stencils for this collection. I love all things botanical, and I love layering, and I love the different parts of things. And as I've delved into botanicals more, I've seen that there's more to plants than the outside. I'm really interested by what I'm seeing with the inside of plants, too. So the 4x4 mask for this collection kind of comes from a study I was doing with the interior of the plant. It has a lot to do with the root system and the um, positioning of the roots. Of course, the 6x6 is definitely at the top of the plant where you can see florals, leaves, delicate stems, and depending on the way you turn the stencil, you can get a lot of variations. It doesn't have to be one big plant. There's actually six small plants built into this one six by six stencil, which is really interesting and cool. I love to layer, so I will be using these in a combination of layering effects, just like you would see here, especially on the printing plate. The nine by 12 stencil was based on the inspiration, the actual cellular matter of some botanicals that I was studying. And I'm really enjoying how this looks layered. It's very interesting, standalone. It does look cellular in nature, but it was important for me to have this part of the botanical as part of the um, collection because when it's layered with the roots and the stems and the petals, it can really make for some interesting depth and layer in pieces. And as a standalone stencil, it's very interesting as well. You can see here as I play around with some of the stencils and the mask, all the different lines that you could get by layering them. And that's what I hope to show you in the project layer on as we explore that. So let me share a little bit about where my inspiration came from. I'm in um, to botanicals, like I told you, and I've been going to botanic gardens a lot. My favorite one is in Washington, D.C. Here, just in this image, you could see all three different uh, stencils and masks that I pointed out just at a glimpse. You could see the lines of the image. You can see, obviously, the leaves and the stems quite easily. But if you look deeper, you can see the cellular structure of the plants as well and, and the shape. And if you were to use this stencil as just an understudy for placement of your lines and leaves and petals, you can find um, a lot of interesting uh, stuff there. Here you can see some of the roots I was talking about that really um, kind of helped me um, design out the 4x4 mask. I didn't want it to be so um, identical to a root system that someone outside of that study couldn't use it, but um, the dark or the straight lines helped with that. Here you can see more of those cellular looks inside of cones and seeds and pods, a lot of structure there. Um, another one of my favorite books, Botanical Art, I found some inspiration in this as well. Although most of my inspiration actually came from the gardens themselves. Look at this structure, the inside of this leaf. Now, if that isn't reminiscent of these overlapping lines and circles and compartments, I don't know what is. So it was very um, relevant to me in the big picture. Here you can see more of um, both the curling in and over and under of those shapes that are evident in the pistons of these plants here. Um, what I liked about the miniature plants within the bigger plant on the 6x6 stencil was the weepiness of the leaves. And again, the lines of the roots could be reminiscent of many different types of leafy plants as well. Here's the inside of a pomegranate that also um, is reminiscent of the 9x12 stencil with the overlapping circles and um, cell structure images and more of the lines are evident in the um, leaf veining 
but you can see the tilt of the leaves. If you move the six by six stencil around, you're gonna find a lot of different angles that you can use to get um, the different types of leaf structure of your botanicals. Here's another one where you can see the veining in the leaves really well. I love that. Here's more root system, more straight line leaves that would both be reminiscent of the small mask. I think that it's really important to remember that everything has an inside and an out. And so by layering these and combining them and thinking out of the box, we can really get some very interesting artwork out of it. Here's what the six by six and the four by four look like just stand alone, interesting in of themselves. But I promise when we layer them in the project video, you will see the, the depth that I'm talking about. And here's the nine by 12 standalone so that you can get a better image of what they look like. But by combining them in the project, you will get the look and feel that I am speaking of by intertwining them in um, the sense that they were one whole plant. So I'm really excited to share the project with you. Um, here's a couple of the prints where I've just layered them. These are just done on a printing plate. Um, but I was just exploring how some of the shapes would look if they were overlapped, intertwined, and used with different colors. Here's a print where all three from the collection were used. You can see a lot of light and dark, a lot of depth in um, the print, what gives it a lot of um, interest. And then using three or four different kinds of paint will really help with that light and dark. A lot of the structure and lines here help build up the different depth of layers. And you can tell which ones are on top and which are on bottom. The same here, this is just a ghost print, but again, you can tell the different poles allowed me to bring in a lot of dimension. And here's another ghost print as well. Very root-like in nature, and just using two colors, I was able to get a lot of contrast. This is actually a ghost print, but I love it because I was using up the paint off my palette and just pouncing it through and really getting some interesting shapes. So I'm excited to share the project with you where I can show you how to layer, where you can see the bottom layers, where you can see the top layers, where you can see how everything that's buried or subtracted really comes forward again with the addition of um, more and more layering and how the stencils and mask work together to be a better component than just stand alone. So I'm excited to share the project with you and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, Stencil Club stencil sets ship on the 15th of the month, and members will be able to access the designer's exclusive project video and PDF. Need stencils? Just click the link below. Happy stenciling!